So eight step Yang style Tai Chi Chuan. We've done our opening stance. Two part the wild horse's manes. White crane spreads its wings. Two brush knees. So then we're coming into a single whip uh, with a little bit of cloud hands to get us there. So I'll just talk you through this because it's, um, it's not so much technical, but it's just adding a new move on. So we'll just take it nice and slow. I'll show you what it is first. So I'll show you all the way from the beginning. Opening stance, turning with the choir, nice circles round, hold the ball. Part the wild horse's mane number one. Part the wild horse's mane number two. White crane. Turn the waist, block in, block in, and draw in to look at the moon. Brush knees, so ear, abdomen as we step, brush the knee and push. Lean back, turn with that choir, stepping in, ear, abdomen, brush the knee and push. So from here, we've got to do a Tai Chi turn. So I'll just show you what it is. going to lean the body weight back and lift up the toes of the front foot, the left leg, and then turn the waist and pivot on the heel all the way around. Yep, so now my feet should be duck footed so both feet are kind of pointing in and the hands off to the side. And then all, all I'm going to do is going to uh, do a little cloud hands. So this hand's coming down, the right arm's coming down. Left arm's coming up in front of the face and I'm turning the waist, turning the waist, and then when I end up here, I'm just going to make a little hook with the hands, draw in, it's kind of like look at the moon but with a hook hand, and then I'm going to turn the waist, step out 30 degrees, bring this whip over, body weight chop. So let me just show you that from the front. Uh, I'll do opposite actually. So I'm all I'm doing is leaning back, turning the waist and just letting the arms come around. I'm not really moving the arms, I'm letting the arms just do it. Yeah, so I end up there. And then this top hand's coming down and this bottom arm's coming up. And I'm turning the waist just until I get to the other side. And then when I get to the other side, dropping a hook. So this is our little hook, like you're holding a little leg. Wrist is high, elbow lower than the shoulder. And, th and this is to simulate grabbing of a wrist. So we're grabbing the wrist. We don't want to grab that wrist too hot, uh, too tight, because if they pull it, they're going to pull us with it. If they pull it, we just want them to let go. Hence why we, we, we kind of simulate it like this. The single whip, so this is coming across in a kind of rainbow, kind of slightly out to the front. And it's a whip because it's a whee. Sorry, I can't do the noise. But it's like a half moon coming out and turning as it's coming in. Chop. Yeah, it's a turn. So it's a curve from here. Curve. Chop. Curve, chop. Yeah, curve, chop. This back arm staying where it is when we, once we've got the hook hand. So just on this hook hand, just make sure that the, the wrist is high. Not too tense, but just high and, and leaving the bottom hand hanging. Nice curve again here. Elbow not locked. And elbow lower than the shoulder. And again, this is the, uh, the, the striking hand three or four inches away from the, the body, just into the chest. Okay, let's have a go at that together. Um, this cloud hand business, we're going to do cloud hands in a minute. So I'll talk you through cloud hands. So if you're struggling with 
um, with this little transition piece. Don't worry, we're going to do cloud hands in a minute and hopefully I'll talk you through how to do it without too many problems. Okay. So, should we do that together? I better mirror you first. So, let me mirror you first. So, you're going to be... Do I need to be here? Yeah. So, I'm going to do a Tai Chi turn. So, lean back. Turn that front foot in. Turn the waist all the way around. Don't forget mirroring you. And we call this goodbye. Bye. I'm going to take the top hand down and bring the top hand up. So one's going to be in front of my face, the other one's in front of my groin as I'm turning the waist. And we're going to do this top hand, you just turn it out so the palm's facing out and keep turning. And then I'm at goodbye again. Bye. I'm going to do the same again. So this top hand, I'm just going to push down. Top hand, I'm going to pull up. And then when I get to the face and groin, turning the top hand out, keep the waist going, and back. Now when we get to this bit, all we're doing is bringing this front foot in, making a hook, and coming into the, the chest. So let's all try it the right way around. So we'll be heading off to the left. We've just done our last brush knee. So we're going to be right foot forward, uh, sorry, left foot forward, right hand high. Yeah, so left foot forward, right hand high in our brush knee. So leave the, leave the hands till last to move, so don't move the hands until last. So nice and slow. One, lean back, lift up the toes of the left foot. Turn the waist and pivot on the heel of the left foot. Keep turning the waist until you... Looking to the side and goodbye. Bottom hand, palm facing up, top hand, palm facing down. Feet should be duck footed, toes pointing into each other. So, right hand, push it down, just in a circle. Left, bring it up across the face, turn the waist, turn the waist, keep turning the waist. Uh, left hand, palm facing down now, so turning the wrist. And then all we're going to do is hook and bring the foot in. So our single whip now, we're going to turn the waist and step out again 30 degrees to the other side and then bring this lovely half moon rainbow single whip as the body weight comes forwards and chop. So you want to end up in this kind of position. Yeah, so this is Chop. Okay, so it's just one lot of clad hands. One, two, yeah, I'll talk you through clad hands in the next move. So, should we try it all together all the way through? Don't worry about the bow. So, one, two, three, Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, single whip. 
So I'll just show you cloud hands first, and then I'll talk you through uh, how we're going to learn it. Cloud hands. So, you want to have a go? Okay, so start with uh, one hand behind your back and the other hand, just cup it in front of the dancing, so just around the abdomen, pelvis area. And all I want you to do is uh, take it out kind of two or three inches, or, or four, uh, no, no more than kind of four or five inches, not too close to the body, and then just scoop up like you're kind of smelling flowers, so scoop up and then when the hand gets in front of the face it needs to come across the face to block turn the palm out like you're painting a fence so a nice big circle out and then scooping at the groin and the, at the abdomen lifting the hand up to the face turning the hand out painting the fence Smelling the roses, turning the hand, painting the fence. And then when you get to the abdomen, stop. So now what we want to do is just bring the waist into it. So we're going to turn the waist each way as we're moving. So we're smelling the flowers, turning the waist to the left. Hand comes across the face, turning the waist same way as the hand. Turning the waist to the centre, turning the waist to the left, scooping up, turning the waist to the centre, turning the waist to the right. So if you think about it, it's just a nice big circle. Don't forget this little hand turn just in front of the face. So this is where we're going to stick to our opponent and control their arm or whatever and bring it round. So just try and get a sense of that. Bring the waist in and just relax the body. Nice and easy. Okay, and when you get to goodbye or when you're going to paint the fence, stop. And then bring the other hand in. Bring the other hand into the dantian. So just around the belly button, abdomen area. And then all we're going to do is we're going to paint down and scoop up with the other hand. Turn the waist just a little. Hands in front of the face now, hands in front of the groin. Turn the top hand out. Turn the waist to the left. Goodbye. Top hand goes down. Bottom hand comes up. Turn the top hand, turn in the waist. Top hand goes down, bottom hand comes up, turn the top hand out, paint. Okay, from this side. So with me, feet shoulder width apart. Right hand's going to be the scoop first. So turn the waist to the left, scoop up. Turn the waist to the right, paint down and bring in the left arm. So now the left arm, palm facing up, right hand palm facing down. So down with the top arm, up with the, with the bottom arm. Cross the face. Top arm now turns out. Turn the waist. Keep the hands going. So top arm goes down, bottom arm comes up. Top hand turns. Keep the hands rotating round. Circles. And turn. Just remember one hand's coming up, one hand's coming down. Just doing big circles. Yeah. If you imagine that you're, uh, not that you'd want to imagine this, but it, you, you've got a big pile of feathers or something and you're kind of throwing them up in the air. It's that kind of thing. But you just want to remember this little turn of the, of the hand as it gets up. So up, turn, down, up, 
down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Then once you've got that, once you've got that little technique, and you can turn the waist, what we're bringing in is just footsteps. So we're stepping in. When we step in, you want your feet to be one, no more than two fists apart. So we're stepping in. Stepping out. Yeah, stepping in, stepping out. You should be able to just walk around doing, doing cloud hands. But in our Tai Chi form, and certainly this form, we're doing uh, three steps, or, or count the instep as three steps. So from our single whip, we're going to do a little transition from single whip to get us into cloud hands. But once we're into cloud hands, one. Body weight's transferred, step in. Two, body weight's transferred, step out. In, out, in, out. Yep, that's kind of where we're going to go with it. So that's the basics of cloud hands. Let's get from our single whip into cloud hands and see how we go. So we've done our single whip, we're heading off to the right, so I might as well face the same way as you. Just watch for a second. So right hand is high, just done my single whip. Uh, left hand is in my um, uh, grasp in the wrist, or hanging out my pants as I like to call it. So all I'm going to do is this Tai Chi turn again, so I'm not going to move the hands. I'm going to lean back, lift up the toes, and just turn the waist and pivot on the heel all the way around until I get to this goodbye. So all I'm doing is releasing that hook at this point and I'm at goodbye. So remember what we said, top hand's gonna paint down, bottom hand's gonna come up, turn the waist, turn the top hand, transfer the weight over to the, to the right. So step in, one. Turn the waist, keep the hands going. When we get to goodbye, so transfer the weight to the left now, when we get to goodbye here, step out. Hand goes down, hand comes up, turning, 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 transferring the weight, step in. Step out. Step in. Good, good. How do you find that? It's not that easy, but once you get your cloud hands, um, it's just about practicing that, that first bit. So let's take you through that transition again. Uh, I'll just show you from the front. Do it the right way around. So from the front, Tai Chi turn, up, down, stepping in one, stepping out one, stepping in two, stepping out two, stepping in three, and then keep the cloud hands going. Yeah, and all we're gonna do is come in uh, to hold the ball, okay? 